Hi, and welcome to this animation tutorial for beginners for Final Cut Pro. Let's get straight to the point and have a look at the video we'll recreate together in this tutorial. It's a 20 second demo animation for an imaginary company. Tired of taking selfies? Are you stressed in front of the camera? At Photoshoot123.com, we got you covered. Update your LinkedIn profile with a professional photo or update your dating apps and have people literally fall in love with the new you. The possibilities are endless. Sign up now and get started. All right, looks pretty awesome, right? And don't worry if this looks a bit overwhelming right now. I promise you'll be able to do the exact same thing in Final Cut Pro right after watching this video. Now, there are multiple ways to produce animation and in this tutorial for beginners, I'll show you what I think is the absolute simplest, easiest and fastest way. We will use something called stock animation, which is a library of ready to use assets that enable you to have access to professional level animations at your fingertips that you can have right now in Final Cut Pro within minutes with literally drag and drop simplicity. However, if your goal is to become a professional animator and build all of these yourself from scratch, that requires around a thousand hours to acquire those skills and this tutorial is not for you. And unfortunately, that process is not even possible in Final Cut Pro. However, if you like to skip all that boring stuff though and get straight to the end result right now instead of months from now, if you like to have the same quality of animations right now after watching this video without any previous experience or animation skills, then please keep watching. And as a bonus, I'll provide all the stock animation assets from this tutorial for you for free so that you can also follow along in Final Cut Pro. Download link in the description. All right, so here we are in Final Cut Pro. So whenever you start any sort of animation project, whether it's an explainer video, a training video, sales video, or whatever it is, you first come up with an idea, then you start writing a script. Once you have a script, you most probably would record the voiceover. And if you're going to use stock animation, you need to find a bunch of stock animation clips that are suitable and relevant for the scenes in your video. Now, I already went ahead and selected a bunch of uh, very good stock animation clips. And I'm going to show you the best source online where you can also get stock animation at the end of this video. But for now, let me just select all the files that I have already for this project. So I have the music here, some uh, stock animation clips and the voiceover as well. If you'd like me to make a separate video on how to write highly persuasive scripts and maybe another video as well on how to record a professional voiceover, let me know in the comments. All right, so here we are right now in Final Cut Pro and the way I like to start all of my videos usually is by first importing the voiceover. So let me just put that down here first. And next to the voiceover, I usually prefer to add the music as well, just so I can first control the volume. So let's see, see how it sounds so far. Tired of taking selfies? All right, so the music is definitely way, way too loud. So first of all, let me just make that a little bit shorter like this and zoom in a little bit. So first things, I wanna select the, the music track and just reduce the volume to let's say minus, I don't know, 24. Are you stressed in front of the camera? At f all right, sounds good. Because you want, uh, you want the viewer to be able to focus on, on the voiceover more than they do on, on the music. So. When you work with a voiceover like this, you can see those little things going up and down like hills, basically. It's called a waveform. So whenever there's nothing being said, you can see a pause as you see here. And then someone says a sentence, another pause, and there's another sentence, uh, and this is another sentence. So basically each big sentence is like a scene. So this is gonna be very, very relevant later on once we work on the timing of the animation because you want what's happening on screen to, to work very well with what's being said in the voiceover. So first things, actually, I notice a big pause here in the beginning, so I will trim the voiceover like that. And uh, oops, maybe just move this like this. All right, so let's see what the first sentence says. Tired of taking selfies? All right, so we're talking about selfies and I already went ahead and selected um, this character right here taking a selfie. And as you can see here, it's pretty, pretty cool. 
So all you got to do is drag and drop it on the timeline here. And let's see, it's a pretty long one. So I only want to use like one second of it. And for me, the best part is, for example, I like this part where she kind of leans in on the leg. Uh, so I'm just going to trim the beginning. All right. And move this like this. And on the waveform, it says tired of taking selfies. And this is where the pause is. So I'm going to trim the end like this. All right. Uh, let's see what's, what's next. Are you stressed in front of the camera? All right. So I actually have a bunch of animations with the same character. So you're going to be able to find different characters, different ethnicities, uh, doing a lot of different actions, just so you can say the same story with the same character, basically. So for the next scene, I'm going to use this one uh, where she's being stressed. So I'll drop it here. Actually, I'm going to turn this on because I want things to... Oops. Oh, it's not this one. Hold on. It's this one. I, wanna, I want things to snap into place like this. So let's see. Are you stressed in front of the camera? Okay, so trim the end as well like this. And actually, one thing that I noticed right now is things are starting to come to life. But one thing that kind of bothers me right now is the fact that the background is, uh, is black. So I want to add some solid, some solid color. So to do that, you go here on this uh, tab. Let's go to Generators, Solids. And I'm going to get this one called Custom. So you drag this here and you try to put it under your stock animation. I'm going to extend it all the way to the end here. All right. And now if I select this color and actually go here on the top, I don't have the inspector open, so I'm going to open it. This uh, gives us access to edit the color. So let me just go here and uh, select a different sort of, sort of color. I like something a little bit a little bit blue, but like pretty, pretty soft like this. All right, that looks so much better. All right, now let's see what, uh, what we have next here. At photoshoot123.com, we got you covered. All right, cool. So here we're introducing the, uh, the name of the company. So normally we would use a logo, but in our case, it's an imaginary company, so we don't have a logo. So instead of a logo, I'm going to go ahead and use this uh, animation of a camera. All right, trim it like this. And right now we have this camera. It's pretty big. So what I want to do is I'm going to select the camera on the timeline and go here towards the inspector. And using the scale tool, um, the scale setting or property, I'm going to reduce the scale a little bit and move the positioning a little bit like this. Because I actually want to add a title here on the on the bottom. So go here to titles, titles, and let's see, I'm going to go with, um, I think I like this one called continuous. Yeah. So drag and drop this one here on top. Make it as long as our scene. And right now you can see it here. It's, it's in the middle. So let's uh, select our title. Go to this tab. The position move it a little bit out of the way like this for the text the name of the company was photoshoot123.com all right so for the font let's go ahead personally i prefer i like i really like montserrat let's go with bold and then if you scroll down here to face click on that you can actually change the fill color so i'm gonna go with black like this Okay, and now let's just make it a little bit larger, let's say 92, and move it a little bit down like this. All right, cool. Now let's, uh, let's play back what we have all the way from the beginning and see what we have. Tired of taking selfies? Are you stressed in front of the camera? At photoshoot123.com, we got you covered. Update your... All right, that looks really good. Let's, uh, let's continue and see what the next sentence is. Update your LinkedIn profile with a professional photo. All right, so in this uh, next scene, I'm going to go back to my uh, media to see what I have here. So I want to make things a little bit more dynamic. So in this uh, scene, I'm going to use two elements at the same time. So the first one is this uh, LinkedIn um, icon animation. And the next one, I actually have the exact same character, but now dressed a little bit more uh, formally like this. So I'll drag this as well here on top and uh, trim the end so it matches the timing. And right now I need to adjust the composition a little bit. So first 
Let's uh, select the, the logo with the scale, make it a little bit smaller, maybe move it a little bit to the left like this, maybe a little bit higher, make it smaller. All right. And select the woman as well, the character, and just move it out of the way on the right side. So now everything is more balanced. And you see, it's very, it's very dynamic now because we have two elements on screen at the same time. So in the next scene, let's see. Or update your dating apps. All right, so in the next scene, we're talking about uh, updating your dating apps. So we go back to the same woman, this time using a phone. I'm going to put this here. And I want to use an icon as well. So I actually have this one with a heart. So I want to, I want to keep things dynamic here. We use the icon on the left. And in this case, I want to move the icon on the other side. So I'll just make it a bit smaller like this, move it to the right, maybe a bit higher, and then select the woman as well and move it a little bit to the left. All right, looks pretty well balanced to me. Okay, so now, again, this is a, like a 10 second clip and I only need like the best one second out of it. So the one that I prefer, the best second is where she, here in the beginning, where she's moving her hand to touch the phone, right? Because that's, that's basically the action. So I'm gonna trim the beginning of that, move it all the way to here. And then I think, let's see where the scene ends or update your dating apps. So around here on the voiceover, this is where the scene ends. So I'm going to trim the ending of both clips. So it's pretty cool. Like here we have two elements. Here we have another two elements, but like switching places, pretty, pretty dynamic. So let's see what the voiceover says next. And have people literally fall in love with the new you. All right. So this scene, actually, I wanted to go a little bit uh, further and make it even more dynamic. So I have this animation of uh, three different guys of different ethnicities falling in love. So I'm going to select all three of them and drag and drop them here. And as you can see, it kind of adds them one after another. So I have to move them here on top of each other. And as with the previous uh, scenes, so so far you cannot really see all three of them because they're one on top of each other. So actually, let me just uh, select this one. Uh, move it out of the way like this and select the one on the bottom and move it on the other side. All right, so this is pretty cool. And as, a, as I was saying with the previous uh, clip, so this is a 10 second clip and I only want like a specific part. And for me, again, is this part where they kind of lean in. Uh, that, that's the part that I want. So trim the rest of it for all three of them, of course. Select all three and move them here. All right, and let's see. So in the voiceover, it kind of goes all the way to here. You can see there's a pause. So that's where our scene would end. So I need to grab all three of them and trim the ending as well. So let's see. Let's see this uh, last couple of scenes we just made. Update your LinkedIn profile with a professional photo or update your dating apps and have people literally fall in love with the new you. The possibilities are endless. All right, so we're almost getting close to finishing this up. So the possibilities are endless. Uh, here is a time for celebration. So I have this clip of the same main character, the woman cheering and being very happy. Put us here and trim it. I like this part. It's really good. And then at the end, let's see what it says. Sign up now and get started. All right, so at the end, we can pretty much just copy what we have here because normally you would just have the logo and the call to action. So, so I'm going to go here, select those clips. And if you hold down the alt key, you can uh, drag and drop a copy of those selected items here. So this basically creates a duplicate. All right. So let me just adjust the ending right there. And the voiceover says sign up now. So I'm going to double click here to edit the text. Sign up now. And um, yeah. All right, let me see. For some reason, this uh, disappears. I don't know why. Let me just have a quick look. Yes, 
yeah, I'm not sure exactly why this uh, title disappears, but anyway, I don't, I don't want the, maybe because it has a, oh, there you go, that's why. It has like an out animation and I don't want that. So for this particular one, just select it. And here on the build out, just uh, unselect that and um, yeah, trim it back again. And I'm going to do the exact same thing here with this one. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't want this part where it animates away. So select it and where it says build out, just unselect that. So now we're going to have the animation in the beginning for the text where it shows up like this, but then it just stays on screen and disappears together with the camera. All right, and here at the end, let's, uh, let's have a look. The possibilities are endless. Sign up now and get started. All right, so the only thing I would change now at the end is the music kind of ends abruptly. So let's just uh, grab it here at the corners like this and create a very nice smooth fade out. Let's uh, play it back. Sign up now and get started. Way, way better. All right, now let's uh, zoom out a little bit and actually have a look at the entire thing from the beginning to see what we created. Tired of taking selfies? Are you stressed in front of the camera? At Photoshoot123.com, we got you covered. Update your LinkedIn profile with a professional photo or update your dating apps and have people literally fall in love with the new you. The possibilities are endless. Sign up now and get started. All right, I think that looks absolutely amazing. And as you see, we only spent like around, I don't know, 10, maybe 15 minutes to create this amazing piece of animation that's 20 seconds. And it doesn't involve any animation skills whatsoever. Uh, it only involved actually very, very basic video editing techniques. All I had to do was uh, drag and drop animation elements on the timeline. You had to trim a couple of things here and there and uh, maybe, you know, arrange a couple of elements in the same composition so it looks more balanced. All of it was very, very basic skills and you don't need anything advanced to create professional level animations like this one because you can achieve the exact same results with the help of stock animation. Now, the big question is, where can you find stock animation? You might be able to find some animation clips here and there on big stock platforms, but those are rare because they usually specialize in stock footage shot with a camera, so for them, animation is not even an afterthought. The only place online dedicated exclusively to stock animation is Videoplasty.com, the world's only animation-first stock platform. Full disclosure, I'm Edward Stunga, founder of Videoplasty. We built Videoplasty with one single goal in mind, to make animation easy, simple, and accessible to everyone, regardless of budget or previous animation experience. That's why we build and curate professionally animated assets that you can have access to with drag and drop simplicity, compatible with all of your favorite video editing software. Have a look on the website, we have plenty of characters, icons, scenes, and a lot more. Our items are generally sold individually, but are also available in bundles at a massively discounted price. Pricing is also very simple and straightforward. You can either pay per item, or you can choose a monthly subscription with download credits or unlimited downloads. Use the discount code in the description to get 25% off your first order. This was Edward Stunga, founder of Videoplasty.com. If you watched all the way to the end, you are awesome. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and until next time, stay creative.